picture by Wilhelm Benz, Interior from Amalia Gallery 1829, is a picture that brings back lots of memories of my student years. I went to high school just down the road, and at that time I was a regular visitor at the Hirschsprung Collection. One of the fascinating things about this picture is that in a way it's a picture of nothing. A picture of a room where nothing in particular is happening. Without a real center, or at least where the people doing something aren't at the center. Another thing that's really intriguing about this picture is the way it's loaded with values. In terms of the historical place we're in, this room is full of books, full of content. There's a drawing board and a chair to pull out and sit on and sketch in the landscape. An appreciation of art. The ancient sculpture and even the little Chinese vase that has been included. All the details in it, as if they were unimportant, but which pointed to what had to be learned, what had to be taken in for the future, and all the new things that had to be discovered. That's what is emphasized in this picture. And then it's a frugal, thrifty room. And in that sense, it's really ultra Danish, but also a room that's the complete opposite of the over-furnished Victorian room. The heavy, gloomy, overloaded, Bordeaux red, velvet smothered room. It's such a bright, light, frugal room where the content is in focus. And then I love the way it's messy in here. That it isn't a tidy picture, this is a snapshot of everyday life. It isn't a picture of the bombastic, of look what we got, all the showiness of the old portraits. It's an everyday picture with a whole different set of values, where untidiness is a part of being in a process. It's a picture that's austere. I like that. <laughs>